Hey, thanks for coming by and checking out Pete Snake Bite Kid again. What we're going to talk about today is ignition timing. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, even if you haven't, what's gone on with this thing? They had a Holly Sniper on here and that controlled everything as far as the ignition timing goes. Now the Holly Sniper is gone and we've got to figure out what to do with the timing. Let's go into some details about that. So as mentioned before, the Holly Sniper controlled everything to do with the timing. And all you had to do is have a locked out distributor in it. Then Holly Sniper took care of everything. You could set it however you wanted. That was kind of cool. But as you know, there's a lot of problems with the Holly Sniper. And it, it's gone. So the distributor that I have in it was locked out. That's how you need to have it with the Sniper. And so honestly, I had it set at 32 degrees. It was there all the time. There's some good and bad to that. But the biggest thing is you need timing that moves around for the demands of the engine. So we needed that. I don't like what a vacuum advance looks like on a car. They were invented in 1939 by Chrysler. Why would it still be under the hood of a car in 2024? That's a good question. So we needed to step up. So along comes progression ignition. They're building a very sophisticated distributor system. And I was fortunate enough to get one. I appreciate them helping me with that. And let's take a look at that. Why is this thing better? As mentioned before, I don't really like unboxing videos, but kind of excited about this one. Progression ignition sent us a distributor. And I'm kind of excited about this addition to the Cobra. Plunk. There it is. We're going to see how that works. So here's a closer look at this. I mean, you know, you can tell just by wiggling it and feeling it, you know, it feels like this thing's on ball bearings and uh, very nice looking, very well built unit. A couple downsides. It's got a GM plug and it's got a GM cap. Just kidding, guys. But, you know, you do see that a lot because obviously they're well-made, very common plugs. But everything that needs to happen is in here. There's a vacuum port here. This reads manifold vacuum. So it knows what's going on. And I'll show you the table in a minute you can build so that you can just set the timing for engine demand, for RPM, and, you know, build a chart that mixes all of those. So that's kind of cool because when I had the locked out distributor in it, I didn't have vacuum advance. The best tank of gas I got on this with the Holly Sniper was actually over 18 miles to the gallon. But I did get a tank of 17 and a half miles to gallon with the four barrel on it with a distributor locked out. And I think the difference is not being able to use a vacuum advance or get that thing up to like the 40 degree range while the cars are cruise. This is gonna fix that. Another nice thing about this, I talked to him a lot about the problems that I had with the <clears throat> Holly Sniper and with the MSD and issues I had when they're telling me, you've got uh, RF noise causing problems, you have to isolate wires. He says, that's because they're not using the highest quality stuff available in his opinion. He's way smarter than me about this stuff. I'm gonna go with that. She blinded me with science. He says he does not have RF issues with this. So we're gonna put this in, we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna take it for a ride. We are going from black to bling, but I'm seeing that this black anodize has turned to purple after a while. Anyway. That's what they look like. Here's a home page of the Progressive app that you need to work the distributor. We're going to create a table. So let's see how this goes. So we click on create a table and then you enter this stuff here. So we'll go to eight cylinders, of course, or six, and just so you can see how it moves. Then we'll put in the idle speed. We're just going to put in whatever, let's say 800. And then for the timing at idle, Let's just pick a number. We'll put 16 degrees. The max RPM, we're going to put, um, I'm sorry, max RPM timing, we're going to put at, let's say, 34 degrees. All in. So we want all of the timing advance in by 3100 RPM. 
and then these are the the vacuum parts they've they've got this in different measurements than normal vacuum but we'll have it put in six degrees put the rev limiter to 6600 rpm and then we'll generate the table now it brings us to the table and you can't see the top and the bottom bars the bottom has the rpm for the column and then across the top it's got some control spots so you're not going to be able to see but what I'm showing you here is I can change this. So this would be the timing at 6,600 RPM, but I'm dropping it down. The top of the chart would be under full load, zero vacuum. And just for fun, I'm saying, hey, what if I wanted that one 33 degrees instead of 34? You see, then I go in and change those. And then when you save that, then that becomes your... Uh, your chart. In the app, there's also a spot where you have these gauges. I haven't tried the speedometer, I haven't been outdoors with it, but it's a GPS speedometer. So here's the active chart. That black bubble you see popping around is the actual timing that's happening. And it's a combination of the RPM and the curve that you put in it and the load of the engine. So here you have the live table in the car running. It's pretty hard to see this and hear it, but I think you get the idea is that black bubble moves around on there. That's where the actual timing is. And all of those numbers in there are the targets that you put in on the table that you build. And it's making all those adjustments between the table that you build, engine RPM and engine load. It's pretty slick. So the sniper is gone and the MSD is gone. You got a much simpler and much more sophisticated system. But let's see if this thing will work at full throttle without the MSD and no misfire. that gives you an idea of this progression ignition distributor that we got in the cobra i just love how this thing works and i'll be honest these guys caught the big guys flat footed there is nothing like this out there on the market i did another search this morning just to see if anybody has anything like this i might have missed it but it looks to me like you can buy something there from progression and there's no competition for it I'll put a link in the description below. You guys check them out. If you need a distributor, this is the one. This is simple, yet super advanced. I don't know how they did this. They did. Check them out.